The commanding officer of the State Guards Battalion has called on the Gambia Armed Forces High Command to boost the human resource capacity of the Guards Battalion, as well as provide the battalion with logistical supports for enhanced operational efficiency. Amuru Elbaji was with the CDS delegation and he filed this report. As part of his ongoing tour of military installations across the country, the Chief of Defense Staff of the Gambia Armed Forces and Delegation visited the State Guards Battalion on Wednesday with the view to familiarizing himself with troops, articulate his vision for the military, and gain fresh hand knowledge of their challenges. This is General Mamat Ocham's first countrywide tour since assuming the role of CDS. In his welcoming speech, the commanding officer of the State Guards Battalion, Colonel Abdulaiba, lamented that while they remain steadfast in their commitment to their responsibility, his unit faces several challenges that need urgent attention to sustain and enhance their operational effectiveness. Colonel Ba noted that the said constraint may hinder their operational capabilities if not checked. Manpower challenges. Our current personal strength is below the optimal level required for efficiency of our operations. This shortage directly impacts on our ability to maintain a continuous and effective security posture, particularly in an environment where the demands on the unit are constantly evolving. Another challenge that we are faced with at this State Guard here is capacity building. There is an urgent need to enhance our training programs to improve the skills and competencies of our personnel. This is especially critical in the area of VIP protection, convoy operations, and the ability to respond to emerging and asymmetric threats. The dynamic nature of our security challenges necessitate continuous learning and adaptation. We also do have some logistical constraints. We are also confronted with logistical challenges, including but not limited to troop, the lack of or the limited number of troop carrying vehicles that we have, other operational equipments such as raincoats, communication gadgets, combat body armor, and a field kitchen that could be used during presidential movements to feed. Our troops that are more the State Guard's commander acknowledged that the head of state has taken significant steps to improve their working conditions, adding that assistance to access advanced training programs will greatly enhance their capability. Augmentation. We seek support in recruiting and deploying additional personnel to fill our ranks. Enhancing our manpower is essential to maintaining the highest levels of readiness required for our unique responsibilities. Training and capacity building. Assistance in accessing advanced training programs, both locally and internationally, will greatly enhance our operational capacity. As commanding officer, it is my intention to equip our personnel with the skills, knowledge, and abilities necessary to address current and future security challenges effectively. Logistical support. We also appeal for the provision of additional equipment and additional troop carrying vehicles, as well as assistance in improving the infrastructure and the living conditions of the personnel of the State Guard. These improvements are vital to sustaining moral and ensuring. The State Guard's battalion is charged with the responsibilities of the presidential security, safety, and security of presidential assets and the family of the president. For Star TV, I am Mudu El Baji.